In this video, I want to talk to you about larger than deck screw sized fasteners for decks. And I think the one you'd, you're most likely to use is a carriage bolt. So this is hot dip galvanized. Uh, it's corrosion resistant. And this is the kind of thing that you'd use to fasten, say, uh, you know, a ledger board or maybe a beam to some posts. Uh, I personally wouldn't rely on this sort of connection exclusively. I would work it into some kind of a notch that would also hold the horizontal piece of wood you're dealing with. But basically this just goes, uh, in this case, it's a half an inch diameter. So it goes into a half inch hole. Uh, the carriage bolt has this square top to the, the shank of the bolt. So it kind of goes into the hole and, and grips it sufficiently so that in most cases, you don't need to grab the, the head. You can just tighten the nut and it, it pulls it in tight and it looks nice and uh, is streamlined and strong. And this is kind of your, your basic standard heavy duty type fastener. So carriage bolt. Um, this is similar. This is called a lag bolt or a lag screw. So it's like a great big wood screw. It doesn't have machine threads for a nut like this. It's, it's wood screw type threads. And something like this would be driven into a hole that is somewhat smaller than the outer diameter of the threaded portion. Since decks are almost always made out of softwood, you would pre-drill a hole that would be somewhat narrower, somewhat smaller in diameter than the distance from the bottom of one side of the threads to the other. Because softwood is, you can kind of compress it a little bit. If you were working with hardwood, which hardly ever happens, you'd want to drill that hole so it's the same size as the bottom of the threads leaving just the threads to cut into the wood. But something like this is fairly strong. It would be used with a flat washer, sort of like this washer here. Um, I prefer a bolt like this because I think you can get more tension on it. Um, but you can't always get to the back of your fastener every time, uh, which is what's required to tighten up a nut like this. So that's where a lag screw would come in when you need to hold something heavy, but you can only want, only want to get at it from one side. So once again, hot dip galvanized. That's a very good corrosion resistance kind of thing. Now, uh, over the last, I don't know, 10 years or so, uh, a, a class of fastener has entered the market. It, it fills the space between the heavy duty bolt type things like this and back screws. And, and that family of new fasteners is called structural screws. And they're made by different companies, Camo, is one brand name, um, Headlock. Headlock is a particular kind made by the Fasten Master Company. This is the first kind I've ever used. Uh, structural screws, they have a, a fairly large thread, so more gripping power than your average deck screw. And more importantly, they have a, a, a bigger head than a deck screw. So. If you've ever driven deck screws, you know it's easy to, to just keep on driving them. The head just disappears in the wood because the heads aren't that big and the heads are angled as well. So this is a flat style, really holds things together well. And uh, these are corrosion resistant in any outdoor application you might find. Um, here's another one. Here's similar. This is made by the Simpson Strong Tie people. They make some great stuff. Um, Look at that, the head's even bigger on that one. So, as I said, this fills the space uh, in situations where a deck screw is too small and, and one of these bigger bolts is too large. The, um, the structural screws come in all kinds of lengths too. Um, I mean, here's a big whopper. Same size, same style of threads, same style of head. Um, and this particular one is, is for use with structural insulated panels. Uh, which is a whole other topic, but uh, I just wanted to show you that they come in all kinds of lengths and they're very useful. I, I keep lots on stock because you never know when you're going to need something like that. Uh, there is something, I would consider it just, just slightly beefier than a regular deck screw. Uh, so maybe where, where you don't want the, a head showing as prominently as something like this. So this is uh, GRK makes a bunch of fasteners like this. This one happens to be uh, fairly long, just over six inches long. Um, not quite the same thread size as a structural screw, 
but bigger than a deck screw, and a nice looking head which countersinks itself in and uh, really looks quite, quite attractive when it's used in an actual situation. So keep these things in mind because I can assure you that uh, building any deck always presents opportunities where the deck screw isn't big enough and a leg screw and a regular carriage bolt is too big. That's where these structural type screws come in.